Hey, what's up, everybody? Here's uh, Finn. He's tuckered out once again. We were uh, cleaning the Cadillac. So I'm going to give you a little sneak peek here at the Caddy. Look at how nice those carpets look. Now you see it was like a couple stains here and there. Uh, they're not stained, just how the carpet is. It's just how the, if you move the carpet one way. See what I'm saying? It hides. Uh, so I have this half of the car done. The driver's side half of the car done. Of the interior part of it. I'll show you the back of it here. This turned out really nice. Uh, the car was really dirty. But I'm really happy with it. Uh, I really like to keep this car. Because it's just so, so nice. I have no, still have no clue why the, why the insurance company told it out. Like it's stupid. The car could have been easily been repaired. I just don't know. But whatever. Maybe they're friends with the insurance company. The original owner. Here's the car. Uh, back together. With the parts that I have from it. Uh, that's all the damage. Right there. That's it. And I, the headlight's still missing. But that's all the damage to the car. I have no clue why this car was totaled. It's all stupid. It needs a hood and a, and a front bumper cover with the grill. It does need upper outer support, but still, like, it's not that, that big of a deal. So, I don't know why they did it, but whatever. And here's the side of the car. I know the pictures aren't the best, but the seats are really dirty. So is the carpet, you know, but I've been working on it for uh, the past couple hours now. I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, it looks really nice. So I'd love, I'd love to keep the car. But I have to get rid of it because I need to make some money. So re recoup some of my money. So I went to the local uh, discount. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to call it. Uh, parts store. Uh, it's Harbor Freight. That's where I went to. And I wanted a steamer. So I purchased a steamer, which is that machine right there and I can tell you one thing for being a harbor free tool it works fantastic I'm telling you like that thing cut my my clean time in half now I still had to scrub the seats because the leather I was scared to use it on the leather because I don't know if it was gonna harm the leather really bad I used a little bit on the leather and it wasn't really cleaning it that good so I I did everything by hand on, on the leather seats but on the door panels and the carpet and stuff, a lot of the big stains that run the carpet, man, I'm telling you, it took it right out. It was really unbelievable. Uh, so I used the steamer on the carpets and the door panels, and on the carpets, after I used the steamer, I sprayed down some with some uh, cleaner that I use. I'm not going to give my secrets away, since, you know, I'm, I am a detailer in my, uh, my uh, other job. My full-time job, I'm a plumber. But anyway, uh, I used the, the steamer on some of the major stains, and I mean, it took them right out. It's unbelievable. I'm so happy with the tool. So the other thing I went and bought was a, a DA polisher, which, eh, it didn't work that good. I'm really not happy with it at all. Uh, I figured it would have been a lot better because it's a newer style of buffing cars and you know i just don't like it I maybe i'm still stuck in my old school ways but i don't know i don't i don't like it so i went back to my good old faithful uh the wall buffer with my uh, red pad on it and now this hood is the bad hood because it's you know obviously it's damaged but you could see how nice that looks like that's unbelievable you could see my reflection of my phone in my hand in the paint like, that's how nice the freaking paint came out with my buffer. And I'll show you on the other side. I don't know if it's going to pick it up or not, but you'll see there's a lot of scratches in it. You can see, it's kind of hard to tell. Like, right there's a scratch. There's a patch of scratches there. And that was with the DA polisher. It didn't do nothing. So, I'm going to return it because it's just garbage. You know, I don't know, but... I'm just going to stay to the old school way, I guess. That's just how I am, and I'm used to doing it that way, and, you know, whatever. So, I just wanted to give you an update on the car.
Like I said, I'm really happy with it. I, like, the car is great. I think it is. I'd love to keep the car. But like my wife said, we, we have to get rid of it. We have to, you know, sell it and make some money on it. And buy the next one, make some more money on that one, hopefully. And so we go away on vacation for my daughter. I know. For my daughter, she's going to be graduating high school. And we promise her to go on a good vacation, so. So the only way I could do it. I'm not, I'm not a freaking millionaire here, so uh, I'm just trying to, you know, scrape by, which, you know, it is what it is. So, uh, once I'm all done with the car, I'll show you how it looks when it's all buffed up nice and, and uh, shined up and detailed inside real nice, and when it's all put back together and ready for me to drive it. I'll drive it for about a week or two. And then I'll put it for sale. I like to drive them for a little bit just to make sure that they're okay. That nothing crazy happens to them because I don't want to sell a car to anybody that's uh, that's a piece of junk. You know, like I, I just don't want to do that because I, I wouldn't want that done to me. So my nephew has his car now and he loves it. As far as I know, I didn't hear anything about it. So I'm assuming he loves it. He hasn't had any problems with it yet. So. Alright guys, uh, see us. Have a good night. And Finn says see us, he's beat too. Right, buddy? Right? Oh, look at your little, look at your little puppy dog eyes. Oh, you're so sweepy. All right, see us.